Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today we are doing a sandwich of recent history. Uh, there was a video going around of a woman who made a sandwich using watermelon. Well, here, let's take a look. Yeah, uh, you know, I've had watermelon and uh, feta cheese. Um, I've had different combinations of stuff, but I don't think I've ever seen pickles in watermelon. So without further ado, let's make the watermelon pickle cheese, balsamic reduction, and basil sandwich. We start off with a slice of watermelon, two slices of dill pickle, mozzarella cheese, balsamic glaze, and then fresh basil. And of course, top that with another slice of watermelon. Okay, let's give this uh, watermelon, dill pickle, mozzarella cheese, balsamic reduction, and basil sandwich a go. I really thought the dill pickle was gonna throw everything off, but it doesn't. It kind of plays off the sweetness of the watermelon. I am shocked. <laughs> but I also want to plus it up. I'm gonna add a little black pepper. Okay, let's give this watermelon, dill pickle, mozzarella cheese, balsamic reduction, and basil sandwich plussed up with black pepper a go. I like that. A little layer of pepperiness that plays with the sweetness of the watermelon, the tanginess of the pickle, the sweetness of the balsamic glaze. Well, it just shows the go, yeah. Uh, yeah, you just don't know if you're going to like something until you try it. Now, some of you out there will be looking at this and going like, nope, no way, no way, because you don't like watermelon, you don't like pickles, you don't like the idea of watermelon and pickles. But I would say if you're not averse to any of these ingredients, give it a try. I think it's actually kind of tasty. It's kind of refreshing, too. So I'm going to give the original watermelon, dill pickle, mozzarella cheese, balsamic glaze, and basil sandwich I'm gonna give it a seven. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Plus up a little black pepper, seven and a half. Made it nicer, it wasn't a big game changer. Uh, if you did it without it, it'd be just as interesting and, and tasty. I'm definitely gonna finish that and yeah, I would make this again. <laughs> Go figure. All right, see you tomorrow.